In this problem, we're being asked to find dy dx using logarithmic differentiation. So when you use logarithmic differentiation to find the derivative, the very first step is to take the natural log on both sides. So we have the natural log of y squared equal to the natural log of, and here we have x times x plus 1, just like that. And then we use properties of logs to rewrite what we have. So here we have a 2, and it's in the exponent. So we can bring it down and put it in the front using the power rule for logarithms. So this is 2 natural log of y equals. Here we have a product, so we can use the product rule, which says this turns into the natural log of x plus the natural log of x plus 1. Whenever you have a product, it turns into a plus. And now we're in a good place. Now we can take the derivative of both sides with respect to x. So differentiating this with respect to x, the 2 is a constant, so it hangs out. The derivative of ln y is 1 over y times the derivative of the inside function, which is dy dx. Remember, when you take the derivative of ln x with respect to x, it's just 1 over x times the derivative of the inside with respect to x, which is 1. So you don't bother to write it. But here it's y, so it's the derivative of y with respect to x, which is called you know, dy dx. And this is equal to, then we do the same thing over here. The derivative of ln x is 1 over x. Plus, here we use the chain rule, so it's 1 over x plus 1 times the derivative of the inside, which is 1, so times 1. Okay, um, let's keep going. So this is really 2 over y dy dx equals 1 over x plus 1 over x plus 1. And we're looking for dy dx, so I guess now we can just multiply both sides by the reciprocal, like this, y over 2, and then y over 2. I'm going to put a parentheses here. These cancel, boom, 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 boom. So we get dy dx is equal to, and I'm just going to leave it like this, 1 half y, I'm going to write it like that, and then 1 over x plus 1 over x plus 1. And that would be uh, the final answer. Now sometimes um, you, know, you have to solve for y. In this case, uh, the problem, you know, at the end they want you to plug in the y. In this case, the, the question did not uh, want that. So we can just leave it uh, just like this. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world. Good luck.